Anybody sign in? No, sir. Okay. Administrative section. Let's look at A. We have uh, school volunteers. Everybody had a. Everybody received this copy beforehand, right? Everybody had a chance to read this. Uh, we have the school volunteers. I think it was Jason Price and Duval, PK through eight. Uh, B is a contract with Chief Logan, and that's paid from the staff development funds. C is the installment of the sign for Lincoln County High School. D is the out of state travel, and we have several people Paula Nelson, Sue Thomas, Brandy Ashley, uh, Leah Hager. Okay, and E is a cooperative agreement with uh, Southwestern Community Action Council. Uh, you all heard these, uh, the administrative sections. You all have any questions on A through E? Anyone? What is it? Okay. Sorry. I'm All right. Motion to approve these uh, administrative items. Motion on the floor. I'll second. There's a second from Mr. Curry. All those in favor of approve the administrative section? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Let's go to the personnel schedule. Personnel Aye. schedule is we have employment A1 and A2, for the assistant superintendent and the assistant principal at LCHS. And B, a correction to the minutes of May 16, 2011 meeting. Mr. Matthews. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would like to uh, make a motion that we go into executive session to discuss this hiring. Okay. Uh, there's a motion on the floor to go into executive session to discuss the hirings. I'll second. There's a second. All those in favor to go into executive session? Aye. For personnel? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Push here. Now so in the. Uh, Personnel schedule. And for A, it's the employment of professional personnel. A1, um, Jeffrey McKiff, Assistant Superintendent, effective date July the 1st, 2011 to June the 30th, 2013. Did you make a note of that, Brenda? <clears throat> and A2, Brent Griffith, who's the assistant superintendent, uh, excuse me, assistant principal at LCHS on uh, for 2011-2012 school year. And B, their creation to the minutes for May 16, 2011. B1, has everybody seen that? I make a motion that we accept the personnel schedule. I'll second. The motion's been made and has been seconded to accept the personnel schedule. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Okay, now we are in the financial section. Murdy. Okay, I'm going to just be very brief. I know you guys don't want to hear every detail. Um, I gave you a yellow bill. And this is the detail if you want to go look at detail. Here you go. Uh, the first group is a detail of our revenue and expenditures. And then this group is will contain your formula the state aid formula if you want to look at all those numbers you know how much do we get and i kind of do, did a little recap at the beginning of it like step one step two step three but then the actual details is, is behind that then the next tab is all of the professional people that i have budgeted so if you want to know how many people how many teachers are at so and so school you have the information in your hand. And then the next tab is all the service people that are budgeted for next year. So you have all the information you need. <laughs> I'm done. 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 I'm done.
yes. over the formula. All right, now let me tell you what I did. So you can look at that all you want to, but I just put together uh, just important things that you probably need to know so you don't have to go through all this. And so a lot of times people will say, well, how much is your budget? So if we look here. <coughs> Here's our general fund budget. We're looking at 33.3 million. Our permanent improvement fund, 25 million. Our special revenue, 6.8 million. So the total budget that, that you guys have in your hands is 40 million to 89. And then you can look at the numbers that we had last year. We'll, we're increased in the general fund budget, decrease in the permanent improvement budget, decrease in special revenue, and a decrease in the ARA money. Now the, the ARA, the Obama money, was where they filled in the gap of the formula last year. So that's not happening this year, so therefore you see that big decrease. So the net change is 654000 So that's kind of the basis, like how much you budget, so there's your quick sheet. Want to talk about the excess levy? We always want to keep that out in the front. It keeps our system going, keeps our programs going for our children. And just today, our, our girls are on a charter bus going to Vienna to the State championship uh, paid for by the funds of our excess levy. So it's lots of good things happen. Uh, just want to kind of get everybody on board with the details of the levy for the new people. Excess levy was renewed November the 4th of 2008. It's for five years. It was well supported by the voters. Here's the number of votes that we had for the levy. Votes against the levy. Uh, current levy will expire June the 13th for June 30th of 2014, so we want to keep this in the back of our mind. Uh, we'll have to renew our levy fiscal year 13-14. So we probably want to look at renewing that in the fall of 2015. Um, and then as we discussed when we get our levy rates, there is a tax increase and it's going to happen for the next three years. So I just wanted to you know, recap that with you guys again. Okay, now I want to tell you what we do with our levy. We have salary supplements, one plus a million dollars. We have instructional supplies, materials, equipment, $592,000. Uh, school library, $75,000. Public library, $111,000. And that's based on Senate Bill 20. Retirees, then we have a couple of them up here. $70,000, $70,000. Maintenance department, $529,000. Transportation, 250000 Student activities, 80000 That's the charter bus. It's paid for out of the student activities. Teachers allocation, all of our teachers get $300 to spend as they choose. Dental, vision, and disability. Those are three new programs that we've implemented over the last few years for our employees. Technology, $325,000. Voyage program, $15,000. Major improvements, 100000 and so there's the total of projected revenues from our excess levy. Okay, here's our general fund revenue. There's our total again, 33375000 And what I'm doing is just giving you percentages and just a pie chart. You know, the details are in your yellow book. So as you see, most of our money comes via the state agent on the money. Here's our expenses, $33.3 million again. And as you can see, most of our expenses go to the instructional PK through 12 programs. Being 55% of our total budget. Now, this is for Donna. <laughs> I bet you are making your I do, Donna. Um, and of course, this never will change because it, this is just our beginning budget and things change during the year. But right now this budget that I put in for our general fund, 77.63% of our budget is going to employees and employee benefits. Then uh, $7.4 million is everything else. But I, I'm not kidding. It's kind of a nice little detail. Um, here's another little thing that I did. This is general fund uh, budget only. And how much did I allocate out per student? Um, so the total per student is $8,849. 
instructional is five thousand. Student support three hundred thirty dollars. Instructional staff one eighty five. Central administration two eighty two. School administration five thirty two. This is kind of a nice quick little chart to look at. Uh, special projects revenue. Now the only thing that's in special projects at this point in time are the things that are required to be budgeted, uh, such as uh, Title One, special aid federal programs, Step Seven. So this is going to increase as we go through the year to get new grants. And here's the expenses. Of course, the food service program is, is in special projects, and that's 35% of what I have budgeted. Instructional is 31. And here's the personnel piece. Uh, this first column, uh, a lot of times people will say, well, how many employees do we have? So here's us a quick little chart handy reference. So we have 30 administrative, what, 30 administrative positions, first column, 310 instructional positions, which are your teachers. We have a total of 340 professional people budgeted. Now, things will change. We may have more when we roll into next year. We may have less, but this is what we have budgeted right now. We have 41 aides, 46 bus drivers, 31.5 trucks, 27.698 custodians, and that's due to FTE. If you're over 200 days, you are you're counted as more than one position. We have two LPNs, we have six maintenance, 4.8 mechanics, 31.965 secretaries, and total service 190.963. So we have a total of 530 people budgeted for next year. The next column is saying, okay, out of all of these people in column one, how many of those are to be funded through formula? Read your numbers down through there. Then the next column is, is how many positions are actually funded. So if you look at professionals, the formula is going to find 274 positions. We have some internal adjustments here. There's some local people who are not funded through any special grants or through the formula. One of those positions is myself, uh, Dana Smith, uh, transport, uh, maintenance director, Kevin Pritchard, transportation director, Diane Mellon, food service director. Those positions are not funded through the formula. So the adjustments there, and then there's some Medicaid positions, so it nets out to be a plus 3.5. So unfunded, 31.79. Prior year, 27.35, so the net change is 10. But now, if you remember, we added all these counselors. We picked up a bunch of counselors that were funded through the grant, and they're no longer funded through the grant. So what's the precise number that we're holding the form? Well, it's, uh, well, would be 27. Take the 31.79 minus 3.5. No, we do 31.79 minus the 3.5. Take 3.5 of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we still have to fund these, like me, Dana, and all that. So I just went ahead and throw it in there. And then you can look at uh, the exact number C will be in your uh, formula. Um, so then we go down to our service people. There's 166.285 is funded. So I get to adjust out 6.2 for service because there are three are funded through step seven. Uh, then we have some of them are funded through Medicaid. So we actually had a decrease of 0. 0.534, or no, we have 0. 0.534 decrease unfunded. So um, prior year we had 4.6 unfunded, and this year we're down at minus 0. 0.5. So it's real good on service. So you're saying we're funded? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that was real, real good. So in the end, we had a net change of 5.2 through the whole calculations of 530 people. Okay? So there, there's the information, fingertips, you can cross over the back to your personnel reports and your formula. And long term debt, just want to keep you guys up to date on this. And we've got two Q's ads out there that require annual debt service payments. Uh, you got your 2005 Q's ad. The new folks that was uh, furniture for the new high school, so we'll be paying on that until um, 2021, uh, $53,000 a year. We also have the QZAD 2008, which is for parts, PK8 um, school, and that will be making payments until 2022. So you'll see those same numbers going through. Now, just let me just say the last uh, two pages of your printout. I don't have it on a spreadsheet, but it, it's got the revenues that 
you can look at and compare it to a previous year. And then the next two pages are your um, expenses, like you want to look at your professional wages individually. favor to adopt the 2011-2012 uh, budget. Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. More concerns? Comments? Anything? Stretch? Uh, graduation, I think uh, he's going to let everyone know Friday, if I recall, when that, where it's going to be outside or inside, and it's not going to be, if there's any question, it's going inside. Which he's not waiting to the last minute. He wants to make sure it's either going to be a nice day. If it's questionable, it's inside. So, but he'll let um, all the students know. You know, that make a good right now. But that's why he's waiting until Friday to make that decision, just for your all's information. And you're, you're, of course, invited and be on the stage and uh, be introduced. Anybody have anything else? Our next board meeting is it the sixth or seventh? It's on Tuesday. Did we move that? Yeah, we did move that for the eleventh. I thought we moved it from the sixth to the seventh because of uh, Mr. Matthews was going somewhere. I wanted to go to the uh, I wanted to go to the Washington D.C. trip with my son. Yeah. But I thought we moved all the way to the eleventh, but you know. Oh. I think we moved it to the seventh. I didn't write anything down, so I get in. Yeah, the bus doesn't break down. We'll just call a taxi. <laughs> Do you all recall at the 7th? I, I was thinking, I, I put it down. I put BOE 6 o'clock on the 7th. I just hadn't changed my calendar. Okay. We probably did. I don't know why I had There's a wasp. Okay. 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 Don't kill it. Okay. 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 Okay, is everybody good? I'm sorry, I just, I just well, want to we, go with we'll something. Well, that's not wrong. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, everybody good? So, um, we'll be jerk. Got a second? 
First and second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries.